How's it going, Vaqueros? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to be covering slugs on the Expedite 12. I know a lot of people have been requesting this, and this isn't for Warzone, just to be clear. This is for Modern Warfare 2. I'll do slugs for Warzone in another video, but for today, we're going to check them out on the Expedite 12. As always, there will be timestamps below if you want to get to a certain part of the video without hearing me ramble. So let's just get into the video and start with some of these basic stats. The first thing I want to cover is sort of the damage in the one-shot ranges. While I'm not going to go super in-depth with each particular body part, we're going to go over the base one-shot kill ranges for the stomach, the chest, and the head. And these are the ranges. So for stomach one-shot kills, meaning anywhere above the waistline, you can get one-shot kills with the Expedite 12 and Slugs out to about 9.1 meters. That is actually less than the base gun's one-shot kill range with Buckshot, which is about like 10 meters. So that's kind of funny, kind of weird to me, but whatever, it's fine. And then we have chest shots, which you can get Get out to about 18 meters so that's a little bit better that's actually really good and then we have one shot headshots which seem to be more around that 30 meter mark so you can't get like infinite range one shot headshots or really snipe people very well with this this is going to be much more like a very close range marksman rifle also it does seem like you can one shot people if you hit their arm so that is kind of nice usually they make it to where it's a lot weaker but it seems to be okay in this game so that's not really a big deal so one of the nice things about slugs in particular is that they deal consistent damage now if you remember my video on the explosive slugs they were fun and they're actually pretty strong but they have a few issues like a really low muzzle velocity but also they have that issue where if someone has EOD they basically negate the one shot kill so then they turn into two shot slugs which is just so so awful so I don't really recommend those for a lot of serious engagements because a lot of people will have you know bomb squad on or they'll just put it on and and kind of just counter you very easily so with these slugs it's a lot better it's a lot more like we're used to with normal slugs and they're a lot similar to how they felt in modern warfare 2019 the big difference here though is that the muzzle velocity seems to be a bit better and you don't really have to deal with a lot of bullet drops so if you shoot you'll notice that the slug tends to stay straighter for a lot longer in modern warfare 2019 it was about out to 30 meters and then it would start to kind of dip down like a grenade launcher well it doesn't really do that here this is more akin to how it was in vanguard although in vanguard it felt more like a hit scan they were so fast but in this one it feels like it's been dialed back a little bit from vanguard and instead it doesn't have quite the same bullet arc that it got at least not as early on in terms of the muzzle velocity though or how fast it travels it does seem like it should be faster than the explosive rounds and they are but when i measured it at about 75 meters i noticed the difference was only by about a frame at 60 frames per second so basically the time from when i shot to when the slug actually hit the target it basically took 19 frames for explosive rounds and it only took eight 18 for these normal slugs so that's a little bit weird to me I thought they felt a lot snappier but it is gonna feel a little bit better up close and at the ranges you should be using these it's not gonna be a huge issue just know that if you're really trying to snipe people we're talking like ground war level really really far past 100 meters type of thing which I don't recommend you're gonna have to really lead your target because the bullet velocity is very noticeably slow at those distances also these slugs can be pretty inaccurate too at distances and of course larger barrels which the expedite doesn't really have will help but also chokes that tighten the spread will help it be a little bit more consistent but I noticed that they're a lot more accurate than the explosive slugs and to get those really far range kills or longer range kills I should say maybe like 20 meters it's normally okay and decently well enough where it hits its target and you don't really need to have the choke sure it helps but I'm not gonna say it's mandatory like they were on the explosive slugs in a lot of cases I think they're totally okay here especially at the ranges you should be using them so I'm gonna say that a choke isn't really super necessary in my opinion one other thing I want to mention about this gun before I go into some attachments is that this gun does have a lot of visual recoil and it's actually what a lot of people complain to me about this gun with is that they think that it has a lot of recoil and to be honest it does it is very hard to manage this gun for follow-up shots even with buckshot but buckshot's a lot easier because first of all you have spread so it's a little bit easier to hit the target but also because at the ranges you should be using it the recoil isn't that much of an issue but when you're starting to use slugs and you have to be so so precise with them follow-up shots are very difficult and so the class setup that I'm going to show you in the attachment I recommend are probably going to be a little bit different than you might have expected but we'll go over those in just a second so just keep in mind that this gun does have a lot of visual recoil and bounce so if you're trying to make follow-up shots it can be very difficult and that's why I don't really recommend running that expedite bolt where it gives you a faster fire rate because when you use that it does hurt your recoil even more and with slugs you don't really need a super fast fire rate because even though it is nice it sounds cool to be able to quote unquote spam with them you're not going to be able to hit your target. If you're trying to spam this gun, you are not going to hit your follow-up shots. 
This gun is all about getting that one shot kill and then waiting, pacing your shots and getting another one shot kill with either another person or getting a follow up shot. I do not recommend spamming this. I mean, it's possible you can control the recoil if you really want to try, but in my opinion, it's best to just avoid that and then just kit it out for a little bit of recoil control and focus on pacing your shots. So don't worry about that bolt to get a faster fire rate. Now that we got some basic stats out of the way, I want to show you guys the class that I recommend. So of course, for the first one, I talked about the SA Schwein XS. This is the only suppressor that helps with our recoil control, recoil smoothness, and it does give us a better bullet velocity. Of course, we don't have to worry about damage range since we already have good damage range with the slugs. I think it's a little overkill to make it even longer, but you can if you want. I just recommend this because it does help with our recoil control and combined with that Bryson Reverb 55 stock we get some nice smooth visual recoil that is a lot more easy to handle than how it is with the base gun or god forbid you put that fast firing bolt with like the mobility stock if you do that it's going to shoot way high and be very difficult now even though I don't recommend doing a lot of follow-up shots you probably will want to try so that's why this build really helps with that and also it just helps in general to have less visual noise and obstruction so that's why this build I found to be pretty useful for going for a little bit longer range kills like maybe 15 meters that's kind of where you want to be the sweet spot with this gun so then we have the fss shark fin which helps with our aiming auto stability and nothing else but you can tune it to give you a little bit more aim down side speed so i recommend using that without having to slow the gun down too much with another attachment and then we can use the vok 7 milliwatt laser now you can use the 7 milliwatt canted if you really want but since that one doesn't have sights it can be a little difficult with slugs so i don't always recommend it it can be done it is possible and you do get some nice benefits from it but overall Overall, I found it a little bit more difficult than I would like to be on this gun. And then we do have 12 gauge slugs which we can tune and as for the tunings go I'll show them on screen but but just know that I did watch exclusive aces video and there seems to be certain sweet spots for some attachments. Basically if the attachment if you're tuning it if it helps more than one property of the gun like I think damage range then you basically just want to max out that slider but if there's only one property that you're helping then you tend to want to find a sweet spot on the graph where that little triangle if you notice how it moves it kind of moves in and out as you go up on the slider so just keep that in mind that there's probably going to be a sweet spot with attachments that are only helping one property or area of that gun so as for my thoughts on this gun it is not for the faint of heart and i tend to say that for guns that are difficult to use and this is no exception even though slugs do have some good one shot kill ranges they are very difficult to use and on this gun in particular i found it really kind of quirky and almost fell off and that's probably because of the visual recoil and stuff like that but honestly they're fun i recommend giving them a try but i have a feeling i won't be coming back to these because they're just so much more niche than the others and you think since it's a quote unquote spammier type of shotgun you'd be able to kind of do a lot more damage with them but no that's not really the case you really need to pace your shots with this thing and really take care in how you aim this isn't sort of your go-to spammy gun i recommend not using this like an origin 12 with slugs it's just not going to be built for that so let me know down below in the comments what do you guys think of this gun and what gun should i check out next with slugs and with all that being said guys i will see you in the next shotgun video like this me right here Oh, <laughs> 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 <laughs>